Hi Libra, welcome to your January bonus reading. This is Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, this is a bonus reading for January, something new I'm adding to the channel. Bonus readings for every sign for every month. Um, love, 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 life, and advice for you for the month of January. So anything I may not have picked up on in your other readings for the month, maybe it'll come out here. And also if you were familiar with my channel and you saw the element bonus readings I was doing weekly, which was love, life, and advice, this is sort of based on that, but these now will be monthly bonus readings for every sign. So you can leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. And we're gonna get started here. So welcome in everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Jupiter, Venus. See what's going on for you, for your bonus reading for the month of January or anytime you see this. Maybe just messages or energy that you need to know right now. That could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. So let's see in love for Libra at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. For this bonus reading for Libra, please. Thank you, thank you. And we have one card for Libra. And we'll go over the bottom of the deck also. So we have 19 here, express love through gifts. Giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. And we have 19, which is 10. 10 is about a completion or a cycle. I'm getting like the 10 of cups energy. Could be a new beginning in love here. Um, where, or it could be, you know, just solidifying a relationship here. It could be an engagement, proposal of leveling up a relationship of some kind um, here. Somebody could be getting a gift or wanting to give a gift. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So we have 10 again. Wow. 10 and 10 which that's 20, and then that's two, which is about unity. <laughs> I feel like this is like a soulmate union here and treasuring each other, really treasuring this love between the two of you. And some of you could have, maybe some of you got engaged for the new year or Christmas or something like that. Wow, okay. Let's see, we'll clarify uh, the tarot after we pull these cards. So let's take a look at life here, see what's going on in other areas for you. Libra, could be career, finance, friends, family, or it could be about love again. So whatever comes out here for life for you for Libra. And Libra, you can check the description, po uh, description box below. Tons of information down there. Uh, your playlist is down there, love in general. Decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is down there also. So let's see Libra in the life department for this bonus reading for Libra. So we have the page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic, playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So this is fire energy. So this is about exciting news of some kind coming in or exciting news, giving exciting news to somebody, passionate uh, communication of some kind between two people, um, or it could be uh, news coming in of an opportunity of some kind, or an offer or something like that. that's very exciting. It could be a project, endeavor, a new job, uh, a promotion or something like that. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Divine Guidance, Archangel Sandalphon. This is the um, Hierophant energy. The search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So this is divine, divinely guided for you. Something I feel like you will stay committed to. The Hierophant is all about commitments, uh, what's moral, just, and right, uh, religion, spirituality, structure, and that kind of energy. I think something's gonna come in for you that's gonna be good news or an offer or something like that that's very exciting for you that you will commit yourself to. Could be divinely guided for you also, something meant to be in your life at this time. So I'm gonna clarify with tarot. It could be, like I said, it could be a person, place, thing, job, career, or something like that. So let's see what the spiritual advice is for you. 
what's spirit's advice for you for this bonus reading for libra please thank you so much advice for libra for this bonus reading and libra if you're new you can check out my channel if you like what you see um please feel free to subscribe hit the bell uh you won't miss out like share comment i love to read the comments all right so we have vesta home your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants so something in your home life is improving and we'll see what's on the bottom of the deck free freesia bold unleash your adventurous side take risk and be daring hmm so something here about taking a risk and it could be about this good news or something exciting that comes in for you that's divinely guided and it could bring stability into your home life and it's telling you to take this risk hmm okay libra libra let's see what's going on let's clarify with the tarot here for libra and thank you to all my new subscribers thank you to everybody who supported the channel whether you've tipped donated reached out for personal reading whatever you've done to support me in the channels truly truly appreciated could not do it without you guys so thank you thank you so much all right so let's see love over here the chariot so something's moving forward very quickly between you and your person something's moving very quickly it's balanced success victory determination passion all right what else here the queen of swords so very open honest truthful communication we have cancer here and this is your energy uh libra gemini aquarius this always reminds me of divine energy shedding light down on a situation with truth clarity of a situation and now the empress knowing your value your worth birth of something new um some mother of the deck some of you could be a mother or maybe maybe some of you just found out you're expecting all right when the nine of swords so a little stress worry anxiety if some of you are expecting if you're a first time mom maybe you're a little stressed out and nervous and worried about that strength but finding your inner strength courage brave determination willpower to get through this that you can do this three rods so waiting patiently waiting for something here waiting uh for the right time to move in a new direction so i feel like patiently waiting for uh <laughs> like your gift to your person is oh we're expecting and really treasuring this your your lover your if you're expecting your you know baby and just waiting for uh to it arrive here with the three of rods energy feeling stress worry anxiety about it but you know having that inner strength and willpower determination to get through it you know again the empress gives birth to new things it's also a mother energy queen of swords such sheds truth so maybe like i said some of you just just found out and maybe it happened very quickly i mean this could be a new relationship and boom all of a sudden you're like uh oh we're expecting <laughs> for some of you hmm, okay if it's not that i feel like um some of you maybe this relationship just moved forward very very quickly and uh i don't know maybe you know maybe you uh did get proposed to very quickly you know maybe you've only been dating like three four months or something like that and all of a sudden or you know six months and all of a sudden you're engaged already but now you know you're just waiting though you know for the right time to plan ahead all right so over here we have something divinely guided for you that it's exciting yeah so it could be a new career here it could be a new job it could be a race a promotion something divinely guided that's stable secure here for the long term stability structure growth abundance for the long term here so something very divinely guided and that is divinely guided energy with the ace of pentacles so what else do we have the last judgment so making a decision about this do i want to take this do i want to accept this offer that is coming in um making that decision that judgment call <clears throat> all right 
what else here? Oh, we got a reversal. So we got the Six of Swords energy in reverse. Hmm, I don't know how they got reversed, but that Six of Swords is usually going into a better place of peace, harmony, balance, leaving the BS behind, you know, going towards your destination. But I feel like you've made the decision and you already are heading towards this new divinely guided offer that's come in. That's very uh, exciting, good news. You're feeling very fiery, passionate about it. You thought about it. You're like, yep, I'm going to accept this pentacle. And I feel like some of you have accepted the offer already and in a much better place now with the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, so what else here? Yeah, something divinely guided. So we got the star, divine guidance, and the star is about something divinely guided. Faith, hope, optimism, wish of dreams coming true, healing energy. So what else here? Page of Pingle. There's that offer again. Very stable, secure, grounded offer for the long term. There's the offer coming in, and there's the pentacle here, making that decision. And I don't think it took you long to accept that pentacle, something divinely guided for you. That's too many. I just want one more. Three of swords. So this is, you know, heartache, pain. Um, I don't see how that fits in here, but let's... Why is that here? Why is that three of swords here? Please. Thank you so much. The Hierophant. So that's being committed. The Hierophant. On the Hierophant. So maybe you thought for a time here that you weren't going to get this. Maybe you're expecting uh, this offer to come in or something to come in. And maybe it was taking a while here and you're like, you know, because pentacles are very slow. So maybe you're like, oh, maybe this is never going to come in and feeling very sad and hurt over that. But then all of a sudden it does come in. Now you're very dedicated here with the Hierophant. Like I said, something divinely guided, committed to the journey going forward. And I think you've already committed yourself to this journey with the Six of Swords in reverse. You're already at a better place for some of you. All right. So let's see what this home and bold is about for your advice. Libra. Queen of Pentacles. So being very stable and grounded and I feel like this is accepting this opportunity here and now you're stable you're sturdy you're grounded you're independent you have value of worth growth abundance nurturing yourself nurturing your home and your family providing take you know you took that risk king of cups so being a happy being in a happy state King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Doesn't matter, King or Queen, whoever's watching this. So feeling more aligned to who you are, loving, caring, compassionate energy, peace, harmony, moving forward. All right, so what else here? Justice, so getting what's moral, just, and right in your life. Balance, truth, honesty, clarity. Feeling very balanced. Like, like your life is like totally balanced out now. Wow. So now we have the King of Pentacles. So, I mean, this could be your home life. You know, married couple here, as in over here. So maybe some of you just got engaged. This is a matching couple, King and Queen. So soulmate energy here. So the moon energy here, maybe for a time, didn't know how this is going to turn out. You know, things looked maybe kind of gloomy at a time. Uh, uncertain about the future. But now you know here at the Ten of Pentacles energy here, this is long-term commitment. This is um, growth, abundance for the long-term, never having to worry. So a lot of Pentacle energy here. So I definitely feel like we got a matching couple soulmate energy. And I also feel like you've got this new opportunity. You see as you're moving forward. So much balance, growth, prosperity for the long-term. Some of you could have just got engaged or just found out you're expecting. Uh, solidifying relationships and career moving forward and I feel like your home life and you dare to take that risk to go in a new direction that's divinely guided for you because we have the stars twice well we got higher for twice of the stars twice so that's about very divinely guided energy and being committed to this journey so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the nine of pentacles so this is a very independent energy doesn't necessarily mean you're single maybe some of you are single or maybe some of you are just you know you're very independent. You know, you can take care of yourself. Even if you're with somebody, you make your own money. 
the Emperor. So maybe some of you will be becoming a boss, an entrepreneur kind of energy. The lovers, I feel like committed here to soulmate energy, choosing a soulmate, choosing what's best for you, moving forward. Making a decision here to move away from the conflict. And as I say that, we got the Six of Rods energy here, which is moving away from the conflict, making that decision to move away from a very conflicting energy wherever you were before. Maybe there was a lot of, uh, could be the past job, a lot of disagreements, fights, you know, not getting along with coworkers, deciding here to take the risk here and move away from this to success, victory, and accomplishment moving forward. Laying down those burdens and now working with coworkers that you have a good time with, you know, um, have a lot in common. Now you have new friends. Closing out a chapter with the world, starting a new chapter. Feeling more balanced with the temperance energy. Feeling more balanced, new chapter. Laying down the burdens of the past and now having new friends, uh, co-workers, relationships. Moving away, making that decision to move away from very conflicting um, energy. Being aligned with your true love, your soulmate, doing what's best for you. Maybe some of you, again, could be a boss, uh, entrepreneur, or something like that. And you feel very independent, even though you may be with somebody, you're like, you know, I can still take care of myself. I make my own money. Um, in a very um, stable energy. Wow, Libra. Okay, so best of luck to you, Libra, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, my channel is to always, always shine your light.